what's up everyone so welcome back to another video and today I got the latest build up to date so um, I'm not gonna try to speak about uh, this build because there's nothing new and don't want to show like the same boring video and I'm gonna sp try to speak about uh, Windows 10 or Windows mobile in general because I saw in latest days uh, many negative and it's very simple or you use and you like or you don't like Windows mobile and you, you, you just change you just buy an Android or an iPhone or a Blackberry or whatever you like and you use that you like you don't use something you don't like that's simple as that and I, I'm speaking about this because I saw in the latest weeks many actually big sites um, saying that Windows phone uh, announcing the f death of Windows phone and actually many negative aspects of Windows phone and yeah that's actually quite true that Windows phone is quite dead but Windows mobile or Windows 10 it's not dead it's not even the beginning of Windows 10 but uh, yeah I understand that points because uh, I mean Microsoft kinda failed with Windows phone, Windows phone 7, Windows phone 8, Windows 8.1 and now with Windows 10 they don't do or at least I think they are not trying to do the same mistakes like before and these mistakes are uh, now as you can see they don't uh, like put so much effort in Windows 10 mobile they don't do so much publicity about the, their new operating system like they did with Windows Phone 7 Windows 8.8 .8 or 8.1 and Windows Phone 7 was actually a great system great operating system it was a, it, the main o objective was to be a simple operating system but it quite failed because the the public does, didn't like it so much so it quite failed but at least Microsoft tried to do something different and that's great but they resetted the mob operating system from for phones for from Windows 7 Windows Phone 7 to Windows Phone 8 they reset like to another kernels and other APIs and now to Windows 10 they reset again so when, when you reset it's kind of different because you are starting from zero and not like when you're just updating 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 like Windows for uh, desktops they didn't reset for example Windows 10 it's not a completely a rewrite um, operating system it's an update from Windows 8.1 and Windows 8.1 it's an update from Windows 8 and Windows 8 it's an update from Windows 7 and so on and so on and um, but Microsoft now it's not doing uh, the same mistakes from Windows Phone 7 or 8, 8 because back then they did quite much so much publicity around the operating system uh, and people didn't like it so what's the point on, on, in making publicity when people I mean, don't like it? Some liked it and some didn't like it. That's simple. And now they don't do so much publicity around Windows 10. And that's great because I think, first of all, you need to do a great system and how the Windows 10 is not finished. They first, first of all, they need to finish the operating system, make it very polished, uh, bring um, all the big apps that um, people are saying, the app, app gap, app gap, and after after you're 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 going to the right uh, way, uh, the operating system is polished, everything is going good. Then you make publicity around the OS and you gain uh, people because uh, what's the point in making now publicity for the Windows 10 great operating system, etc., etc. And when uh, the operating system is not uh, finished, where is the um, final version? We got. Uh, previous builds um, even this build I use now the latest up to date it's not finished where is the finished version uh, there's no finished version but uh, of course it's there's no finished version because Microsoft didn't finish yet and there's no point in releasing a finished version just because people want because if you release a finished version but it's not finished people will still whine about that I will whine about uh, something that um, I mean being operating a uh, final operating system but it's not final because it's in it's still bugged or it's still beta or like it is now for example it's not finished so there's no need to to release the finished version because it's not finished but people want look at uh, lumia 950 950 xl uh, they only release that phones because people wanted 
people was making pressure on Microsoft to release phones because they didn't release uh, so much time. And that's also true, I mean, both sides are true, but I mean, Microsoft is kind of dealing with the Windows Mobile a bit less, and that's quite, it's, that, uh, that's good because, I mean, they didn't end the operating system, uh, and they saw they they saw their mistakes that they did in the past with Windows Phone 7, Windows Phone 8 and I think they are not trying to do the same mistakes because look at Windows 10 for example for desktops the Windows 10 for desktops is built around Windows Mo Mobile because it's like a skin from Windows, 10, Windows 7 but when you look at the um, um, menu, when you press the um, start menu it's like a Windows Mobile um, visual so they built the Windows 10 for desktops, Windows 10 in general around mobiles. So saying that Windows Mobile is dead, that's quite uh, um, quite too much, I guess, because I, if Microsoft kills Windows Mobile for the for phones, then it will be like a shot in the head because all their I, idea behind uh, um, these universal applications and. Uh, trying to get developers to Windows, so I don't think um, Windows Mobile is dead. Windows Phone, yes, it's dead because it's the old operating system, but Windows 10 for phones, I think it's just uh, the beginning and Microsoft should go like this slowly, but trying to, to do great improvements. Uh, let me know you guys your thoughts in the description and the comments and uh, <laughs> I catch you in the next one. See ya.